Welcome back guys for another video. Today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be discussing with you guys 3 pro tips and tricks in order to be a pro here in Anime Defenders. And trust me, these tips and tricks are super important and you need to know all about them. Our pro gamer giveaway is going to start on Discord today. And if you want to be part of it, then all you have to do is like and subscribe. And on top of that, at 25,000 subscribers, we are going to be doing a secret unit almighty giveaway. So if you want to be part of it, all you have to do is like and subscribe subscribe and join our discord and there's a huge community on our discord right now and we do tons of giveaways there every single day so if you want to be part of it join the discord in the pinned comment and also subscribe and without further ado you need to hear these tips and tricks the number one tip that i'm gonna be giving most people is if you're a beginner do not make the mistake of summoning for units like right off the bat and the reason why this is important is because um, you're gonna be wasting your gems and the chances are you're likely not going to be getting any units the chances for secret is actually one in ten thousand okay so the chances for secret units in the standard banner is around one in ten thousand so very unlikely that you're gonna get them and if you check my statistics right here um, I have spun over 22,761 times and I've only gotten seven secrets and most of the secrets I've gotten, I believe, are actually from portals. So, again, um, very important that you do not spend and waste most of your gems in the beginning in getting units right here. Now, recently, okay, recently I made a tier list video that will help you pick whichever hero you need to get. So, um, as you can notice in this tier list right here, some of the units in here, you actually don't need to summon, or some of the um, strong to mid units that are mythical units, you don't actually need to summon for them. Some of them you actually need to get through raids or through true raids right here. For example, Water Sword Master is in the strong category in tier list, and he has very good DPS if you have Almighty on him. And then also Muscle Sorcerer, you can easily obtain through the Trading Hub. So again, instead of spending your gems wasting, trying to hopefully get a secret unit, which you probably will not because the rates are very bad, then I would recommend you guys to instead buy or get the units that are in the mid to strong category. Don't summon for them because chances are you're not going to get lucky. And then after that, that's the first tip okay do not waste your gems summoning for units in the early game but you do you can be summoning for units eventually in the end game but still i would recommend the best method or the best thing in this game is to just buy those units trade with for those units unless they are a portal unit so right now they're actually increasing the amount of portal units in the game so right now dragon mage which is the best unit in the game is actually untradeable because it's a portal unit and then lunar empress the third best unit in the game is also untradeable because she is also a portal unit and they will be continuing to do these kinds of things but there are still a lot of good units that you can trade for for example shadow dragon the second best unit in the game is actually tradable and then cursed knight which i believe i put in the top four or rift sorcerer is actually um very very tradable so you can trade for these units right here so instead of actually um those are the units that you need to get okay so now the second tip that i'm going to give most people is very important i think this might actually be the most important tip that i'm going to be giving you guys and that's to learn how to trade now a lot of people call this game alt defenders when in reality it's trade defenders okay now there are a lot of alt farmers in this game because the game mechanics are actually kind of unbalanced and it allows people to literally alt farm millions and millions of gems a day i've talked to someone who alt farms a million gems a single in a single day so it is kind of alt defenders as well but did you know that for the most part you can actually gain millions upon millions upon millions of gems through trading alone if you know what you're doing so my second tip is going to be learn the prices and learn how to trade because it is what's going to make you a ton of gems in the long run instead of wishing that you had a good computer that you can alt farm with put that effort into getting a knowledge to getting knowledge on how to trade knowing the prices and stuff like that in order to profit from these trades because that way you're going to make a ton of gems so the profitable things to do right now the profitable things to sell are three three rolls um frost mines as well as profitable and then maybe risky dices as well those are the most profitable units to trade for right now remember the number one principle you need to remember whenever you're trading is buy cheap 
and sell expensive that's the number one thing that you have to remember you have to buy a unit for cheaper and you always have to sell it for more expensive you can't buy it for cheap and sell for even cheaper that's gonna like ruin your life okay so buy for cheap and sell for more expensive that's the number one rule that you need to know and in order to do this you're gonna need to know the prices of the units that you're gonna be trading for so yeah know how to trade because it is a good method in order to make money in or, or in order to make gems and this is possibly going to be the best method for you all right let me just roll a few times here let me see if i can get anything okay hunter two all right now the third and last tip that i'm going to be giving you guys is going to be a very important one as well now the last tip that i'm going to be giving you is join a community now i'm not kidding when i say join a community because this game is unplayable or not really recommended to play as a single player game if you try to play this game solo without any friends you're going to struggle because you're going to find out very very soon that a lot of things in this game is actually designed to be played with friends for example portal farming if you really 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 want to play this game solo it will be 10 times harder to get these portals right here than when you're doing them with friends it's going to be much easier to do portals when you're doing with friends in comparison to when you're doing them solo so again if you really 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 want to improve in this game fast i would recommend that you play with a community of people which is why i recommend people to join my discord or the anime defenders discord because that way you're going to be able to play with a community and this and you could you know find other players that will help you become a stronger player as well now again let me remind you that this game is going to be difficult if you play it single player and i might dare say that it's impossible to get good at this game single player because again most of the events will require you to do it with friends for example hall of matters is nearly going to be it's not impossible but it's going to be very difficult for people to do without friends like if you don't have the best units you're not going to be able to do hall of matters what else um raids if you don't have the best units raids are going to be very difficult for you as well and then what about lunar portals portals in general portals in general are also going to be very hard for you to do if you don't have the best units you can't solo them if you don't have good units which means you're going to you know waste your portals if you do them alone what else leaderboards are also pretty much impossible to get into alone so if you want to get into them you're gonna need a team or a community of people so if you're the type of person that doesn't want friends then i would tell you right now you're gonna have a hard time playing this game because this game in my opinion is definitely not made to be played alone and it's made to be played with friends luckily for you again we have a community in the discord in the pinned comment down below and this will allow you guys to play with other people that also play anime defenders and this way you're going to be able to join the uh, join other players when they're doing the events join other players when they're doing the grinds and that way i can guarantee you this will allow you to pretty much speed run the game because doing it with other people is much much easier now remember the first step when i said that some of the units in this tier list right here can easily be can easily be obtained through trading if you're playing with a community and if you make friends and if, for example you make strong friends you can actually easily get like free for some of these units for free for example i give away muscle sorcerer for free i give away muscle sorcerer for free in my live streams so there's that right so again um the number one tip and even the second tip with trading you need a community in order to do these things so again join a community either my community on my discord up in comment and or or anime defenders discord because that again will help you a thousand times if you're a new player now that's gonna be it that's my um pro tips and tricks for this game if you follow them all then i can recommend you you will become a good player in a couple of weeks maybe in a couple of days only that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out